Hey guys, how's it going? So here is that rig. This is a 1070, 1060, 1080, 10 series rig that I threw that brand new RTX 3070 in. Hopefully this works. I bumped up my screen so that it's like 150% view or something. So let me know if you guys can't read this or if you can read it, if it's okay. Just in the video for for playback if you guys are watching on your phones or something like that so you can read the numbers so here we have the 3070 this is the full nerfed mode it is these are the overclocks here 2400 memory 1070 absolute core 125 watt power limit it's drawing 97 watts and it is doing 32.8 hashes mega hashes on ethereum so what I'm going to do is apply the the um, LHR unlock on this. So we're going to go here, add a new flight sheet, coin Ethereum. I'm going to select my wallet for a pool. I am using Ethermine for miner. Let's go T-Rex miner. Set up miner config. Worker name. We are going to do spider v2 temp version, the latest extra arguments. Oops. Oop. I guess we got to go here with T Rex document. LHR tune. So here we go. LHR tune. We're going to pull LHR tune. Zero disabled. Recommended values four. So that's what we're going to do. Zeros for all the cards. Four for that card five. So zero, zero, zero. There we go. Okay, there we go. Apply changes. Good stuff. Name the flight sheet. We're going to call this Spider V2 Temp LHR Unlock. Okay. Create flight sheet. Looks good. Right, here you go. You can see this is what I'm running here. Five rigs. 33 graphics cards. This is just on Hive. 230.7 mega hash on Raven. 1.559 giga hash on Ethereum. I have kind of split between Hive and SMOS. We are going to pick. This is the new one that we just did here. Let's launch it and see what happens. Here we are in the mining screen. It just started up. I rebooted the system because when I just tried to s switch over right away to the unlock, it was giving me an error with GPU 5. So here you go. 3070 LHR4. You can see here right away, power 113 watts. That's using a lot more. It's using 97 before, so we'll see if this unlocks. There we go. Look at that. 43.7. So that's coming up quite a bit here. We were at 33 before. GPU LHR detected. Changing tuning from 4 to 3. If this does the same thing that the other cards did this is just eventually going to go all the way down to one so i'm going to leave this running for a while and let's see what this stabilizes out at this is down because it detected the lhr so change the tuning from four to three so here we are lhr three it probably still needs to settle out so I'm going to leave this for a while and I will come back to it and we'll see how it goes.
Hey guys, so here we are 16 hours and 53 minutes later. Here is our rig with the 3070 on it. It bumped all the way down to LHR1. I'm not sure if it's possible to get that any higher than that ever. But here's roughly what it's been doing. It bounces around from like 40 to 43 mega hash. Let's see here, 116 watts, 111 watts. So it's bouncing around that kind of range. So it's not too bad. This is roughly right at 70%. Go here to calculator. This card does 62 hashes on Ethereum with full card. Times that by 0.7. So at 70%, it would be doing 43 mega hash. 32.4 is what it should be doing if it was a full 70% unlock. Here we go. 42. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Connect. So here we go. 42, 40, 111 watts. 40. So it's hovering around, you know, 40, 42 mega hash. We'll call it 41. So it's not quite at that 70% unlock, but it is not bad. It's a lot better than 32, which is what it would normally be doing with the LHR. And if you look here on the pool, this is for that whole rig here. You can see the reported hash rate. You can see it kind of bouncing around here. It goes up and down a bit with that card fluctuating. Overall, the average is 227.5. And this here is showing 235. So it's not too far off. It's doing all right. I am not going to run any of these cards, these LHR cards, yet on Ethereum because it's still not as profitable. So this card will do 32 mega hash at 150 watts, 1% fees. This card, this is in US dollars, will be doing $2.32 on Ravencoin. So on Ethereum, we've got $2.16 based on 41 mega hash, 111 power, 111 watts, 10 cents kilowatt hour, 1% maintenance fees, 216. Ravencoin, 232. So it's actually not too far off if you consider where the coins are right now. Raven has taken an absolute dive in price. So has Ethereum, but it has recovered a little bit today. That's not too far off right now. But if we get that unlock, if we get that unlock going, this thing would be doing a lot better. So this is what the full, we'll say it was doing, this was the full non LHR card. It would be doing 339 in profit a day versus mining Raven at 232. So if we get that 100%, this would be with a full 100% unlock. That would be pretty sweet. So there we go, 41. It's doing okay. That's the LHR. I'm gonna leave it on here for a while just because I don't have any space right now in any Raven rigs. So it's gonna be staying on Ethereum for a while. This card cost me $945 Canadian after taxes. So it's gonna take just about 300 days to pay off roughly maybe a little bit more at current prices. So not fantastic compared to how things have been, but I'm going to hold this card for many years. So that shouldn't be an issue. So thanks for watching. That is how this is doing with the LHR unlock using T-Rex miner. This is the latest T-Rex miner. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.